Hello and welcome, it's Claire from NPC Moore at Cranbrook here. I hope you're well and that Harvest has been a success. I'm very excited and honoured to be visiting the Fent Forum in Germany to bring you an exclusive insight into the 200 VFP Orchard and Vineyard tractor range that has only just been launched. Fent first manufactured specialist orchard and vineyard tractors in 1957 and in 1983 my father Nick was introduced to these by Bob Chapman from Bavenhill Mechanics in Herefordshire. In January 1984, Dad attended his first training course here in January and is back here as my co-driver 36 years later. I don't think he wanted to turn down a trip here, to be honest, it's such a beautiful scenic journey. So the first range we were involved in supplying back in the 80s was the 203 and 204 VMP. And we still have a few of this range out on farms today that we service and maintain. In 1988 came the 250 to 280 VMP. And these were a fantastic step forward because they had electronic hydraulic controls and a carbon filtered quiet cab. We often refurbish these tractors for the resale as they're such um, a fantastic reliable tractor that keep on working hard and actually are still technologically advanced compared with some of the basic new tractors on the market currently. In 2003 came another superb update and then in 2009 we were introduced to the Vario range in the 200 VFPs it having been tried and tested for many years in the larger tractor ranges. Starting at the front, we have the new metal bonnet with these LED design lines and lights. Um, we then have the radiator and viscotronic electronically controlled cooling fan, the air filter and the add blue tank right up here. We will still find the same Agco Power three cylinder, 3.3 litre turbocharged engine, but with a few new developments. We no longer have the EGR, but now with exhaust gas treatment by DPF, which is a diesel particulate filter, and SCR, which is selective catalytic reduction, which actually means that AdBlue is injected and used to reduce emissions. The fuel tank has been moved, so this is now around and under the left-hand side of the cab. And just a quick note for those that would like to mid-mount implements, uh, you will need to have the upright exhaust system for that. Dynamic Performance is Fent's new management software to maximise efficiency and productivity of these engines and workhorses. We all know that as an example, if we have a 110 horsepower tractor, the air conditioning will use up to 6%, cooling fan up to 8% of that horsepower, the alternator for those lights perhaps 3%, so you can soon lose over 10% of that 110 horsepower tractor, as well as then asking it to drive the transmission, the PTO and the hydraulics. Dynamic performance measures what is needed or being used and then can give a power boost where required for those 211 horsepower tractors. Now, I just wanted to quickly remind you of the advantages of Vario continuously variable transmission. You can travel from 20 meters per hour to 40 kilometers an hour, steplessly and totally smoothly, without any gear change or clutch work. It reduces the operator fatigue and increases speed in carrying out those tasks, which improves their workability and available time. The Vario transmission decreases fuel consumption and the tractor management system, TMS, ensures you are always working in the most fuel economic and optimised manner. So for example, when driving at 40 kph, the engine is only running at around 1800 rpm. We've had some brilliant customer testimonials on fuel savings that they have made. Now, moving along and looking at the outside of the cab, you will now see that we have a four pillar cab, giving an even more spacious view and even easier access in and out of the cab. You should also be able to note that the roof profile is shallower as the air conditioning system has been used and has been moved and therefore allows a higher windscreen and better vision, particularly useful uh, to give you a good line of sight when you have a front mounted machine such as a trimmer. This new cab is also able to have category four filtration. EU regulations stipulate that dusts, aerosols and gaseous containments that arise from spraying must not enter vehicle cabins. Currently, with all tractors we supply, we've had manufactured by a specialist company, HEPA carbon filters that will give you category three protection. These new cabs can now be completely pressurized to ensure no pollutants or vapour can enter. Once the spray work is complete, the filter system can then easily be switched off via the terminal. I order most of our stock V tractors to have an over width of 1.4 metres and our F tractors just a little wider, um, but we can obviously configure that to suit your requirements. And actually the narrowest uh, 
over a width you can have is 1.07 metres. We are still able, as standard, to have mid-mounted spool valves for ease of piping up implements that are front or mid-mounted. The design has changed slightly, so they're much easier to connect. And we're also now able to have the option of a power beyond mid-mounted valve, which has priority function for machines requiring um, extra hydraulic services. The wheelbase length has increased very slightly, but this proven front axle design continues to give the great manoeuvrability that is required for turning in and out of rows in orchards and vineyards. Front suspension is still an option, and if you're doing lots of road work or rough terrain work, this is a huge asset as it gives exceptional ride comfort. Front linkage is still an option, and I would estimate about 30% of the tractors that we sell have this as, the op as an option. It's great for front mounting various machines, for example, pulverizers, so you don't run over the prunings first and damage the tractor or pull out wiring. Trust me, it happens. Now, for ease of attaching implements, we are now able to have these push button functions for lifting and lowering the front arms to help with connection. So let's take a look inside. So much easier to access. It's great, we've still got this lovely flat floor, no transmission tunnel in the way. It just feels so much more light and spacious. It really is great. Um, we can adjust the steering column here with the pedal. Um, we then have, as, as standard, a digital dashboard. We then have an optional 12 inch display up here, which is great. We've then got this really clever, but very straightforward multifunction joystick and this optional 3L smaller joystick here. So this multifunction joystick is taken from the Fent 1 philosophy, same as on the Big Brothers such as the Fent 724 range. We would have all your controls at your fingertips. It's really ergonomically designed and well thought out so that the operator is able to work comfortably and easily. We have everything at fingertips. So we would have spool valves, PTO selection, rear linkage and controls, and then we would move around to things that you can control by your thumb, such as you'd have your cruise control functions. Just to make life straightforward and simple, if when carrying out a task such as spraying, you can easily select that and be straight at the right speed and right PTO RPM. Moving around to the rear linkage and hydraulics, you will see that we still have our superb rear power lift with tilt adjustment, but now with a few hidden tweaks. We also have the option of load relief. Now when we have an implement such as a mower on the linkage and are on rough terrain or a bank, often as we reach the peak or level out, the mower will lift off the ground. With load relief, the weight of the mower um, is, is monitored and the hydraulic arms will be lifted or lowered to keep the weight the same, improving the traction and allowing the mower to stay at the continuous working height in the right place. The hydraulic system as standard can deliver up to 76 litres a minute and there is the option of a load sensing version which will supply up to 119 litres a minute. Now we are able to add up to seven spool valves plus your front linkage one with independent adjustable flow rates. Whilst we are at the back, have you noticed this nifty little solution for getting cables in and out of the cab? We've also got LED lighting and then your PTO and your hydraulic lift and lower for your, for your arms and now little buttons on the side here. So now let's briefly discuss the Power, Profi and Profi Plus configurations. The Power option would have the multifunction joystick with cross gate lever and a digital dashboard. The Profi option would then have the multifunction joystick, the load sensing hydraulic pump with then options such as the 3L joystick for operating force balls, the 12 inch terminal and a rear power lift relief control. The Profi Plus is then when it gets really impressive and this is where Fent show their innovative technology. We have the 12 inch terminal and guidance assistance available including contour assist. Contour assistance will record your work using A, B and way lines and can then repeat the task such as headland turning. The Fent One package is fascinating so from your farm office, you can use task dot to create a job, such as spraying, choose the driver, choose the field location, and then it can be sent to the tractor. The tractor driver can then view and accept the task. Guidance and the tractor will then complete this task for you autonomously. I like that a lot. 
Telemetry can also be included, which uses the GPS to measure and record where and for how long you have worked, the fuel consumption, service hours and any faults. We can then remotely access the diagnostics to ensure we can be prepared for any service or repair work. So, I've managed to find an assistant and I thought it might be useful to walk around with an operator's hat and show you the basic start of the day maintenance before you drive off. Now, fuel goes in here, that's 68 litres in total. Add blue, it's a 16 litre tank that should be topped up every time you refuel for safety. This is where you clean the radiator and the condenser. The air filter is here. Now moving around, engine oil, dipstick and filler. Hydraulic oil, dipstick and filler. Transmission oil, dipstick and filler. Check these adjustable linkage bolts are tight. Check the wheel nuts are tight. Now remember, the most important bolt on a tractor is the loose one because it is that one that will give you a problem. Open the door and enter the flat floor cab, air sprung seat, full air conditioning and enjoy your day's work. I really hope you have found this introduction worthwhile. I have certainly learnt a great deal that I will be able to share with you in the coming months. As I said at the beginning, Fen introduced these technologically advanced tractors which surpass our expectations every time. Yes, they are the most expensive tractor on the market, but look at the difference. You get what you pay for in life and it is money wisely invested with these tractors which will give you excellent long-term value for money. As the slogan goes, leaders drive Fent. Bye for now.